Good day, ladies and gentlemen, once again. Uh, we are now continuing uh, from the question we recorded previously on my YouTube channel. Uh, it is uh, named General Ledger Accounts Practical Accounting. So we continue from there. We did this question out of the entire 30 months. Uh, we recorded the uh, transactions uh, to the ledger account, but we started with the opening balances. Then after we came to the transactions and we recorded all these transactions in our general ledger accounts. At the conclusion of my previous recording, which I will recommend that you start watching the first recording before you come to this trial balance because I decided to use the same question so that you can understand the simplicity of the trial balance, how simple and how easy it is for you to get the entire 15 marks, 20 marks or 25 marks or 30 marks uh, that uh, 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 can be in this question. Now we have done our recording uh, in response to the requirements and we responded in all the requirements. Now, I want us to then uh, do the trial balance using the information that we have already uh, completed uh, from our general ledger accounts. So you are very familiar with this ledger accounts from the previous recording that I assume you just watched then uh, these were our recordings. Now, from what we have done, we are then now uh, required to do or prepare a trial balance. So we'll be using the same ledger accounts doing trial balance. That's how easy it is. But obviously, this question is likely to be a separate and independent question. What do I mean by that? It means you will not be required to do ledger accounts after you are done with the ledger accounts then you record the trial balance uh, because our numbers are likely to be incorrect so which means now you will be given ledger accounts then after you are given ledger accounts then you compile a trial balance from the ledger accounts that are already given to you obviously if in the same question paper uh, you are having a requirement of doing ledger accounts, you have to do ledger accounts separately. But in another question where you are doing trial balance, you will be given ledger accounts and you are transferring information from the ledger accounts to a trial balance. That means now we are doing a question on trial balance with the ledger accounts that are given to us. Now let me show uh, you how a trial balance is done, which I've already given you a clue at the end of the previous recording. When you do a trial balance, you say trial balance uh, for the year ended, if you are given a year, for the year ended, um, uh, not for the year ended, as at as at 30th of May, if uh, the year end in May 2023. That is your heading. Then a trial balance has a debit and a credit. It's not the same as the general journal. This one has uh, two columns. It might look like it's a general journal, but you'll see that this is a difference. Uh, you'll see the difference between a trial balance and a general journal as we continue uh, answering or doing or compiling this trial balance. A very easy balance. You are just writing balances. It says trial balance. That means you are only dealing with the totals or the balances. Now, a trial balance is divided into balance sheet section. Balance sheet section. Then the other section is the nominal section. Nominal 
section. Under the balance sheet section, you record, uh, please don't write this, it's just an explanation, uh, but obviously it will do. You record your assets, you record your liabilities, and then after you record your capital, and another one that you record is your drawings. So these are the items that will be under at all balance. You don't have to categorize them to assets. In fact, you do not categorize them into assets, liability, drawings. But you know that these are the transactions that you'll be recording. Then under your, your nominal section, nominal section you record incomes and expenses only. Incomes plus your expenses. So that is what we are doing. Where do we get all of this? We get it from the ledger accounts. Now, let us go. Remember, this is trial balance. So we are writing the balances or the totals. That's all that we are doing. Now, let us go and check uh, our ledger accounts. If how do we record from a ledger account to a trial balance? Very easy. First thing we do, we go to the ledger account that is given um, uh, in your question paper. You look at the ledger account, uh, you see that the first ledger account is capital. And we know that capital will be recorded under the balance sheet section. As I mentioned to you, capital will be under your balance sheet section. So you know that the total of capital will be recorded under the balance sheet section. So how do we record uh, uh, this capital amount? We write the total. You draw the two lines, you write the total. Uh, please make sure that you write the total here. Uh, also 340,000 rands plus 120,000 rands plus 40,000 rands. So this gives us 410. 64,000 runs. 4,000 runs. If there is no amount on the left hand side or on the debit side or on the credit side, you only write the total and you take this total, you record it in the total balance. You must always ask yourself, which side does capital increase? Capital increases on the credit side. Capital increases on the credit side. So in the trial balance, you write capital and you record it on the credit side. You say capital. Then on the credit side, you don't write anything. Remember, this is the debit side of the trial balance. Then on the credit side, you write 464,000 rands. And you already have your tick. This is how you will be grabbing your marks when it comes to trial balance writing the total of your ledger account and asking yourself what is uh, which side is this account increasing you say credit side then you record on the credit side if the ledger account only has one amount on one side you record that amount on the side it is now in this case the amounts we have are only on the credit side then the total goes to the credit side of the trial balance where there is CR indicating credit side. Here we have land and building. Land and building has only one amount. This amount is where is on the debit side. Then you can just as well do the total, but it's not necessarily we don't do the balancing in here. 210 20, Our focus is the trial balance. 210 20, you don't have to because it's only one amount. So what do we do? Uh, we take the 210, 20,000 of land and buildings. Remember, land and buildings is under balance sheet section. Then you say uh, land and buildings. Land and buildings. Land and buildings. The amount of the land and buildings is on the debit side. 210, 20,000 runs. You have your tick there. Only taking the amounts, you're transferring them to a trial balance. We go to another ledger account. 
to another ledger account. So this one is done, this one is done. Another ledger account is drawings. Drawings, we only have amounts on the debit side. So if we only have amounts on the debit side, that means the total of the debit side, 3,500, will go on the debit side of the trial balance. Will go on the debit side of the trial balance. It's just balancing uh, your, your, your totals from your ledger account. Drawings, yeah, the amount is on the debit side. That is 3,500 on the debit side. Remember, that is DR debit side. CR is for credit side. We are only transferring. Remember, again, don't forget which ones go under balance sheet section. It's your, 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 your capital, your drawings, your assets, and your liabilities. So drawings, we are done. Equipment is an asset. The total of equipment is on which side? It's on the debit side. There is nothing on the credit side. So you take the total, you record it on the debit side, but under the total balance. 45,000 rands plus 40,000 rands. How much do we have? It is 85,000 rands. So 85,000 rands uh, goes to our trial balance. We record the 85,000 rands on the debit side. Remember, that is the debit side. Uh, because the amount of the equipment is on the debit side. The amount of the equipment is on the debit side. We write debit side. Amount is 85,000 rands. You have your tick. You have your tick. Again, go back to your ledger account. You go to your ledger account. Uh, we check. Uh, we have done equipment. Next page is the bank. Now, bank, we have amounts on the debit side and amounts on the credit side. Let us find a balance and see which side is bigger. Uh, if the bigger side is debit side, the difference will go on the debit side of the trial balance. If the bigger side is on the debit side, the difference between the debit and the credit will go to the debit side of the trial balance. We saw that under the equipment, the bigger side was the debit side. So this went on the debit side and beside assets increase on the debit side. The bigger side under the drawings was on the debit side and we recorded the total on the debit side of the trial balance. And beside drawings increase on the debit side. The bigger side of the land and building was on the debit side and we recorded the amount of the land and building on the debit side of the trial balance. And again, the bigger side of the capital was from the credit side. There was nothing on the debit side. This is the same as that amount. The bigger side was the credit side and we recorded 464 on the credit side of the trial balance. So that is the approach. And beside capital increases on the credit side. Now, in this case, let us look for the bigger side. Let us calculate and look for the total of the bigger side. I did calculate it before. It's 194,160 plus 120,000 rents plus 14,000 rents plus 4,000 rents, plus 15,000 rents. Now we have record, we have calculated, we are calculating the total of the left-hand side. We can see that the debit side is 347,160. We can see that the debit side is bigger. But now there's also figures on the credit side. Let us minus them. If the debit side is bigger, this is what you do, and the other side um, amounts on the other side. You write the same 347,160. We say minus, now the amount on the credit side, minus 1,540, minus 1,200, uh, minus 40,000. Then this gives us a total of 304,420. Now I said to you, we look at the total of the bigger side. 
the bigger side we have seen it to be the left hand side of the debit side under bank then the difference between the debit and the credit uh, will be recorded on the debit side because the bigger side is the debit side so that difference i mentioned to you that we call it balance carry down that is the balance but we must bring it down on the left hand side which is 304,440. Because the bigger side was the debit side, the difference between the bigger side and the smaller side will go to the bigger side, which is the debit side. So that is why now we will have bank, uh, because the bigger side was the debit side, and the difference between the debit and the credit is 304,420. So we write this on the uh, side where a bank was having bigger amounts than the other side. But we struck the difference between the two. Then we go to another ledger account. Another ledger account is services rendered. Services rendered only as amounts on the credit side. Only as amounts on the credit side. So now that means... Uh, the total of services rendered will be recorded on the credit side of the trial balance. We have 150,000 rands plus 15,000 rands. This gives us 165,000 rands. The amount of 165,000 rands, remember, services rendered is income, and incomes are recorded under the uh, nominal section. So we say services rendered and uh, the total uh, of the bigger side is the credit side of 165,000 rands very easy just the total recorded uh, uh, based on which side is bigger then telephone we only have one amount you don't have to do anything in here 1540 the amount is on which side? The amount is on the debit side of the, uh, 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 sorry, that's not telephone, it's trading license. Trading license is having a total of the bigger side on the debit side. So now 1,540 of the trading license will be recorded on the debit side of the trial balance. Then we have trading license. Uh, 1,540. Then we go to another one. Another one that we have, this one is done. Uh, this one is done. We go to water and electricity. The bigger side of water and electricity is the debit side. Let's calculate the total of the debit side. 2,800 plus 1,200. This gives us 4,000 runs. Because telephone total is on the or the bigger total is on the debit side. Therefore, now the total of 4,000 of telephone will be recorded on the debit side. But it must be under nominal section. Remember, telephone, telephone uh, on the debit side, the bigger side is on the debit side. Therefore, now it must be recorded on the debit side of the trial balance, which is uh, the second column or the first column for recording figures. Then we go to the next account. The next account that we have, we are done with water and electricity. Next account is consumables. Consumables has figures on the debit side and figures on the credit side. Let us check which side is bigger. If debit side is bigger than the credit side, the total in the trial balance, which will be the difference between the debit and the credit, will go to the debit side because debit side has bigger numbers. 2,500 plus 3,500, uh, we get 6,000. Obviously, the bigger side is the debit side, but we need to strike the balance if there are also figures on the other side. Minus 2,000 rands. Then the difference is 4,000. But the 4,000 will have to be brought back to the bigger side, remember. Uh, in here, we have what is called balance carry down, but we must bring it to the bigger side. The difference between the bigger side and the smaller side must be recorded 
on the bigger side of the trial balance, which is the debit side in this case. So now the 4,000, which is consumables, uh, consumables being expenses, consumables being expenses uh, will be recorded on uh, will be recorded on the debit side. Consumables. Uh, the amount of 4,000 will be recorded on the debit side of the trial balance. Then after we continue with our ledger accounts, we continue with our ledger accounts. We look for the next ledger account. Uh, we are done with the 4,000. Uh, for consumables, we go to rent income. Rent income, we only have figures on the credit side. So the bigger side is the credit side. That means in the total balance, 44,000, which is 40,000 plus 4,000, will be recorded on the credit side of the total balance, 44,000. And the description is rent income. Description is rent income. So we record in here and we say rent income. We say rent income. Remember, we record incomes and expenses under the nominal section. Rent income, the bigger side, remember, is credit side. So we are recording it on the bigger side. Uh, that will be your 44,000 rents on the credit side. Then we come to uh, another ledger account, which is telephone. We can see telephone is 1,540. Telephone is 1,540 rands. The 1,540 of telephone will be recorded on the debit side because that is the only side we have an amount, which is the debit side. And telephone is a nominal section. I have limited space here. Telephone. Uh, telephone amount is on the debit side, 1,000. 540 uh, and also the trading license i hope i did not make a mistake on the trading license and the telephone uh, even if that's the case i'll still keep it as is uh, we paid the telephone bill uh, we paid for the trading license i'm just trying to see where was the trading license uh, where was the trading license um, Oh, a trading license was 1,540. Okay, so I did not make an error. I was wondering now why we have the same amounts. So we are done with the telephone. Then we come now to check uh, the next ledger account. The telephone is done. Creditors control these are liabilities. Uh, uh, liabilities are recorded under the balance sheet section. So now that means in here we will be recording uh, uh, creditors control on the credit side of the total balance because the only amount we have 3500 so under the balance sheet section we have creditors control or trade payables creditors control or accounts payables you say that trade payables or accounts payables uh, that is 3000 500. Remember, the 3,500 must be recorded on the credit side because the only amount we have is on the credit side. Then we go to the next ledger account, only to left. We have a loan. We know that a loan is a liability and liabilities are increasing on the credit side. And besides, we only have one amount under loan. The amount is on the credit side. The amount is on the credit side. Because the amount is on the credit side, therefore now the loan under the balance sheet will be recorded on the credit side, and that alone is 14,000 rands. So we have our loan. Loan of uh, 14,000 rands will be recorded on the credit side because it is on the credit side of the ledger account. So we only take the total, uh, as I have been emphasizing, and you record the total according to where side it is from the ledger account the last one is salaries i think now you know salaries are expenses meaning salaries are under nominal section nominal account section nominal account section so now that means it will be recorded on the debit side in the trial balance 
There we have under nominal account section, we have our salaries. Salaries, we are recording our salaries amounting to 40,000 rands. Salaries amounting to 40,000 rands. And now that is how we record our trial balance. After we are done with the recording of the trial balance, though I have limited space, we draw a line. We draw a line here. Then after we write the total at the bottom. Draw a line and write the total at the bottom. Uh, that is also important uh, for method mark. Then now uh, there's also mark for the total. Make sure that you don't miss that. Uh, most examiners will put mark for the total. If you have the total, then you'll get a mark for the method mark. We have 464,000 rands plus uh, 3,500 plus 14,000 rands plus 165,000 rands plus 44,000. Then the total of the debit side, uh, if I were to write, it is 600. Let me just write it. Credit side, 690,500. We have 690,500. This is the total of the credit side. Let us look at the total of the debit side. If how much are we getting for the total on the debit side? Debit side, we have 220,000 runs plus 3,500, plus 85,000, plus 304,420, plus 1,540, plus 1,540, plus 1,540. 1,540. We get 624,000. I'm not sure if that is uh, just error on my side, but the two are supposed to be the same. And, and, and the fact that now this uh, was not prepared for trial balance uh, can result uh, on not balancing. But please write the total in a ledger account where you are required to do a trial balance, it will be balancing both sides will be the same. But this was not intended for trial balance. So balancing was not a concern. Let me just repeat 320,000 plus 3,500 plus 85,000 plus 304,420 plus 1,540 plus 4,000 runs, plus 4,000 runs, plus 1,540, plus 40,000 runs. Uh, so please do write the total. So that will be the total, but normally this will be the same. I just use the exercise uh, where it was not a requirement to do trial balance. So balancing was not their concern in the trial balance. So that is what a trial balance is about. We have the nominal account section, uh, nominal account section and balance uh, and balance uh, sheet section. Nominal account section and balance sheet section. So that is uh, what a trial balance is about. You will be grabbing all the marks for the accurate recording of the uh, 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 totals that are coming from your ledger accounts very easy like that you grab your marks in here as much as possible be able to draw the ledger accounts divide it into balance sheet section and to nominal account section then know that in here we have your capital uh, your assets your drawings and your, your 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 loan or your liabilities this is your assets your liabilities your capital and drawings that's what gets to be recorded in here is your assets, liability, your drawings and capital. In here, you only have your incomes and your expenses. Then record in the correct column. As I have mentioned to you, emphasizing if the total is on the big debit side, then you transfer here to the debit side. But you just write the name of the account, services rendered, trading, 
telephone consumer with the name of the ledger account. Then after you write the amount in the correct column. With those words, guys, thank you very much. That is uh, another um, uh, uh, question that I just wanted to record for you. Thank you. Thank you very much.